Hi guys, I'm Ernest. Welcome to our channel of Sciences and Mathematics. Today we're going to look at uh, one of the uh, characteristics of vectors, and that is the concept of a uh, scalar triple product and a uh, vector triple product. Now these two concepts of uh, vectors are very much essential since they are find wide applications in some of the topics that we have discussed in physics, especially on the concept of uh, forces and the moments, etc. So for today, we're going to see how we can be able to identify the scalar triple product and some of its properties, maybe by using one of the examples that I'm going to demonstrate on the board. Now, before we look into that, I'd like to thank those who have already subscribed to our channel. Kindly go to YouTube and search Sciences and Mathematics or at best heritage 6110 and join us so that we can be able to improve our skills in both sciences and uh, mathematics and maybe try to assist one another in trying to solve uh, problems here and there. So for that case, I'd like also to welcome new members who have already joined in. Feel welcome and thank you for being part of uh, the group. So for that case, thank you <coughs> and welcome. So as I've said, today's discussion is going to be centered around the, the concept of a uh, scalar vector triple product. And this is where one of the concepts of in vectors that is going to encompass the combination of both the dot and vector product that we have discussed in uh, our previous videos. I'm going to put a link for the videos in the description box. So the concept of a scalar tri triple product, as I said, is a combination of uh, the dot product of a vector with the cross of uh, two other vectors and which can be represented in form of an equation as a b or expression a b a dot the cross of b by c now this is an equation which is going to be represented as a1 just to do with this one so for the components of a which is a1 a2 a3 these are three dimensional space so therefore, B1, B2, B3 for vector B, and C1, C2, C3 for vector C. So generally, this is an expression that is used to represent the scalar triple product. And we're going to look at uh, another representation for the vector triple product shortly. Now, in this case, for A, it represents the components of A for vector A. 1, 2, 3, in the i, j, and k direction. So similarly for b, it is uh, b for 1, 2, 3, in the i, j, and k direction. Of course, these are vectors which we <coughs> have to represent using those notations. And c represents, that is c for 1, Two, three, and basically those components are representing the direction of that specific element of a vector <coughs> and therefore this is uh, how we can be able to represent this uh, scalar triple product using its various components for a b and c so basically this uh, scalar product uh, the scalar triple product uh, represent the volume of uh, a three-dimensional figure that we refer to as a parallelopipe that I'm going to maybe have an illustration on the board and this basically is going to assist us in trying to find out some of these characteristics of this parallelopipe that uh, entails the concept of scalar triple product. Now in the same spirit we're going to look at the concept of a vector triple product before we look at the application of this scalar triple product uh, in order to illustrate or maybe define the volume of a parallel pipe. Now for a vector triple product, this one can be represented as uh, the cross of A multiplied by the cross of two other vectors B and C, which can be given as A dot C into B minus 
minus a dot b into c. So we're going to see that uh, this particular case for the vector triple product represents a particular unique case whereby from this particular expression we're going to find out that a cross bc which basically is this one will not be equal to a b cross c so for the cross product for the vector triple product there is a unique case that we have presented here and perhaps we're going to use an example for demonstration or illustration for us to conclude that basically these expressions for the vector triple product hold. Now, <clears throat> we have decided to discuss this topic of a scalar and vector triple product because, as I said, it finds weight applications in trying to find forces, especially in the concept of physics, moments, and maybe other quantities that may result from interaction of uh, several objects or multiple objects which can be able to be represented in forms of uh, their vector uh, quantities. So in this case, um, the second application, as I've said for it, entails the concept of a scalar triple product that is used to find the volume of a parallel pipe. Now I'm going to use a sample question in order to illustrate how we can be able to apply this concept of a scalar product in finding volume of a parallel pipe. Therefore, it's, it's of essence for us to try and uh, show out what this parallel pipe actually means, which I referred to as a three-dimensional figure that is formed by three parallel plums. So I'm going to have a, to draw a, a parallel pipe. So a parallel pipe basically is a three-dimensional figure, as we have said, which has vector components, which I'm going to represent maybe using a different. That's vector components, this is for A and B. Or maybe we can just say, uh, inversely represent it as B, A, either ways. And then there's uh, this component C in this specific direction. So in this case, we're going to use the concept of a trigonometry that we have already done in basic trigonometry to try and figure out how we can be able to represent different vector components of this parallel pipe. So in this case, we have that one that is going to be represented as such, which is uh, perpendicular to the to the face AB and it can be represented as A the cross cross of AB and therefore <coughs> we're going to form a resultant vector from that so I'm going to use this uh, specific vectors for A and B to represent the base of this particular three-dimensional figure now I've said that it's a figure that is formed by a combination of uh, six parallelograms of course we know that uh, parallelograms are uh, just a two-dimensional figures which are formed whereby the opposite uh, faces or the edges are uh, parallel. Now, sorry for some background uh, miss, but I hope I'm audible. So this one is going to be one of the illustrations or the applications that we're going to use to find the volume of our parallel pipe with the sides A which is uh, equal to I minus 3I minus J b is equals j plus 2k so the i component is not there and c is equals one uh, i mean i plus 5j plus k so in this case we're going to use the the, the formula that i've already illustrated for the scalar triple product which basically is a that is a, the product the dot product of a vector a with the cross product of vectors b and c so therefore it can be illustrated as a now since this one is A, we're going to find absolute value for the product of A dot BC, which is going to be represented as the absolute value for these uh, components. So for A, we are going to see that uh, it's only as the I and J components. So therefore for the K, it's going to be zero. So this is uh, I, J, K which is represented as 3, negative 1, 0. Now for the B, we have I component absent, so it's going to be 0. J is equals 1, and that is K equals 2. 
Now the last one for C, we have I1, J5, and A being represented by 4. And that is the absolute value as I said, C is just a representative it using this symbol. It's just a single stroke, it's not a no single stroke. So basically that one represents the vector, I mean the product that we're going to find, which is basically going to be the volume of uh, this parallel pipe. So as we do normally for the, 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 the uh, this kind of uh, an equation, we're going to find first the i component of this by a multiplication of uh, 4, that is i, into, this is a, uh, we're going to do, uh, I don't want to cross this, so, so this is uh, 4 minus uh, 10, for i and then minus for the j it's going to be so basically for the for, for the first one we, we're going to have a coefficient of a three which is going to form i and then minus for the second one we're going to have a, this is minus negative so basically it's going to be negative one into and this is going to be zero minus two This is for the J component, and then plus, now the last one we're going to have, uh, this is uh, was for J, it's going to be zero into, now for this uh, zero that you are going to have, it is zero minus uh, uh, one. So therefore the product for the last component, which is, uh, uh, I mean, uh, K is going to be zero. N number that you multiply by zero is going to be zero. So this is three into uh, six, basically negative six because it is uh, four minus ten for i, and then we're going to have a uh, minus. This is plus two, so it is minus uh, minus two plus two. So this, for, for the J component, it's going to form a negative 2. So basically, the answer for this is going to give us 20, which is a minus. But the absolute value for that specific uh, product that we have found is going to be 20, since area cannot be negative. So it's going to be represented as 20 square units. So basically, that's how we find out. Just done a short that maybe for this. I hope that... Uh, we are already conversant with how we can be able to multiply those specific kind of a cross of vectors. Now that is how we do the application for trying to find the area of a parallel pipe. I'm assuming that these vector components for A are represented by these lowercase letters that have been indicated on the board. So this specifically are the letters which are representing that and the product of this can be represented as so therefore we are not going to have a problem with that. <coughs> now we see that uh, the scalar triple product and this, uh, the, the, the vector triple product are unique in a way that uh, there is an expression that we had given which was not equivalent to another one. And this I'm um, just going to repeat it on the board so that we can be able to remember. So we have discussed two concepts that we are going to look at the volume of the parallel pipe and one of the ways in which we can be able to do that. So, we had mentioned earlier that under the vector triple product, that the vector triple product can be represented as uh, this cross of this C, and then vector C, which is equivalent to A dot C, B minus B dot C, A. And therefore, in this, we said that uh, a cross B, I mean, so for that, we said that A cross BC is not equivalent to A cross B into C. So therefore, we can illustrate this one still by using uh, one of the examples. Uh, given that the component for A is equals uh, I 
plus j and then the component for b is given as 2i minus 3j plus k and the component for c is given as 4j minus 3k so if you have been requested to find or maybe asked to find uh, the first one we have been asked to find a cross b to c and then the second we have been asked to find a a cross of uh, b by c so basically for the first two we are going to look at the third section for the first two actually we have been asked to prove uh, or maybe define the value for the first part of uh, the equation <coughs> and then also for the second part of the equation which is uh, actually for this is for b and this is for a respectively <coughs> and lastly we have been asked to prove whether this equation uh, is uh, hold, hold as it is illustrated on the board <coughs> so therefore we're going to use these uh, vector components for a b and c in order to demonstrate that basically a cross b cross c and uh, it's not equivalent to a cross b cross c so therefore i'm going to just write it in a fresh way so that we can be able to use the space on the board <coughs> So basically given so given a is equals uh, a cross so given the vector component a is equals i plus j b is given as 2i minus 3 j plus k and c is given as 4j minus 3k we have been asked to find vector i mean the product a cross b into c and uh, b a cross b into c and lastly c to prove that a cross b into C is not equivalent to A cross B to C. And I hope this one is legible. So, so our first step is try to find the individual components for A, B, and uh, B, C so that we can multiply them by the individual vectors for A and C respectively. So for the first one, we're going to find uh, A cross B. Now from our illustration above, we can be able to name the I, J, and K components and represent them <coughs> in terms of our vector, their respective vectors as we have uh, seen. So the, the elements for those ones, it's, uh, that is 1 for I, 1 for J, but this is 0 K. And then we have 2, negative 3, and then one that is for b so therefore this cross is going to give us this is a one minus zero therefore i minus so for j it's going to be also one minus zero which is a minus j and then plus the last one we're going to see it's a negative three minus negative two so this is a, going to be negative three minus two so this is going to give us a this is a negative three minus two and that is going to give us negative five so for the k component is going to be negative five so therefore i'm going to do away with this and just write negative five okay so therefore that's a resultant factor that we have uh, found from the multiplication of a cross b and therefore we are going to find out that uh, this particular vector can be represented as a uh, one negative one negative
negative 5 and we can be able to multiply it now with the C to obtain the first one. We do it across with the C, so it's I, J, K. And remember, this is a resulting factor from a cross of AB. So therefore, this is going to be 0, 4, and then negative 3, which is representing vector Z, C. We don't have the high component, so therefore it is 0. J is 4, K is minus 3. So we're going to have a gross of this. And this basically is going to give us uh, 23i plus 3j plus 4k as the resulting vector for the scalar triple product. I mean the, 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 the vector triple product for A. A, B, cross C. So next we are going to look at uh, A cross B, C, which is uh, number 2. So this one we are going just to represent it. We can be able to just represent it as uh, this is equivalent to 23i plus 3j plus 4k. And then for the second, we can just do a, 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 an operation for the second one, which is a uh, a cross BC. So we can find BC first, which is a B cross C for I, J, and K. So we represent those ones using the individual vectors. That is 2, negative 3, and 1. And then we have 0 for I, 4, negative 3. So this is going to give us a, you can confirm that one by doing the calculation. So this is going to give us 5i uh, plus 6j plus 8k. And the cross between that one and uh, a, a is represented as this one. So the cross between that one and a is going to be represented as i, j, k. So it is a cross b, c. And that is going to be 1, 1, 0. And then five, six, eight. This is going to give us a uh, eight i minus eight j plus k. So basically, we are trying to look at uh, so this one we can represent it as eight i minus eight j plus k. So looking at these two specific vectors, we can conclusively say that a is not equal to b because their vector components from those two operations that you have found the product the products the two products are not the same for a and b therefore this is a proof that uh, the cross a b c which is the first one is not equivalent to a cross b c which is the second one so therefore from that one we can see that there's a difference between the scalar triple product and the and the, 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 the vector triple product as we have demonstrated using this last example and one of the applications as we have said is finding the volume of a parallel pipe and other applications which of course are, are widely uh, maybe used in uh, physics and engineering in finding quantities that, that result from inter interaction of uh, of course multiple objects or forces and moments and other quantities so in this case, I hope that um, in case we mention the concept of a scalar triple product, it's going to be easier for us to try and remember what we have already discussed. So that is for today, guys. Bye. Thank you. God bless.